Because we'll have pizzas out, you know, full of meat and yeah. stuff. Yeah, we'll some leave, sandwiches. Yeah, they'll leave some vegan food for us. Yeah. So, um, one of the last times we went down there, the, indeed, they had bought pizzas. I don't even think we had talked to them about the fact that we were going to be there. They're, they're just used to us now. Yeah, they're like, oh, happy healthy vegan. We know what to do. But oh, this that's awesome. Instead of getting a pizza with no cheese on it, they actually had a diet cheese pizza. Full of, you know, all the salt and everything. Yeah, so right? normally we wouldn't be eating di- I mean, we used to eat a ton of diet cheese. Really. Yeah, I mean, a long time ago. That's when I blew up. But <laughs> yeah. That's when I gained a bunch of weight. But so, so the diet cheese pizza was there. We're like, okay, you know, we'll have a slice. And then while we're eating it, we were, we'd already been talking to some of the other um, channel producers there about what our show is about. So like, oh my gosh, you're eating pizza. We're like, oh yeah, this has got this like vegan cheese on it. So no then, cholesterol. They got, whoa, really? So they, yeah, they, they dug excited. in. There you they go. Like, this is better than real cheese. I'm going to order this now. <laughs> yeah. and we were like, well, you know, diet cheese is great. It won't give you the heart disease and some of those things, but it is right. high in sodium and it has a lot of oil. So it's not the best thing, but, it's right. better. but it is better. If you have a, like you're saying. Because that lady had a cholesterol problem. So she didn't yeah. care about the salt nor that would have been in her normal pizza anyway. <laughs> exactly. So it just shows, yeah, vegan food, you know, Give it to people who know. They might actually love it. Right, and that's the best right. thing about being flexible on on this lifestyle and not being so into perfection that, you know, like I'll go to um, the Whole Foods near me and they have yeah. like this vegan pizza with diet cheese. Mm-hmm. And I'd be like, yeah, you know, you want to, I'll, I'll get a slice with you. You can try it. Or they'll say, you know, I, I'd show it to them. They're like, well, I'm not going to eat it unless you have it. I'm like, well, I don't even want to have the diet cheese, but yeah, I'll have it, you know, and then they have, and they're like, oh, my God, I'm going to have this every time. And, you know, I might even just give up cheese. And, you know, with that, if, instead of me saying, well, you know, I just I just, I just, just don't eat that. Because I, you know, like I had a friend once told me, he said, he said, who are you to say that the way that you eat is the perfect way to eat a vegan diet? I understand <laughs> that it's healthy. Because I used to be like, yeah, you know, you have to eat this way. You have to be. But then I realized that, oh, shit. You know, I'm totally alienating all these people who would yeah. benefit from eating these soy tenders and these soy burgers and this diet cheese. So, you know, it's out of the real thing. Yeah, it's a, yeah, it's about it's about eliminating the animal foods first off, making that like the line that you don't cross because yes. we all know that ethics wise, we all agree on that. But uh, also health wise, yes. You know, I mean, I remember. Just the last time I had a cup of coffee, it's not an animal food, but it's something that's pretty toxic. My whole body just flipped out. My, my like, I, I couldn't, I couldn't take a, a, a proper crap for a day. I, really? Like, yeah, my dehy- I was so wow. dehydrated. Oh no! Well, I actually, I had two cups because I do like the taste. So I was oh, like, I was, I was like, oh, this. None. Yeah. Well, Wait, I was you like, like the taste of coffee? Is that a real statement or? Well, it is actually a real statement. I don't know why, but anyway. I'm, I'm honest. Always found it disgusting. I don't know. Yeah, I like yeah, so. I was, so I was drinking, and I was like, "Wow, this is." You know, I, I remember. Yeah, this is really good because I always like the smell. And then I realized after the second cup, I'm like, "Yeah, the smell. If I just smell it, I'm good. I don't need to drink it." <laughs> just walk through the aisle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to go walk by a coffee shop. But I was like, I was really dehydrated. My appetite. I could. I didn't eat anything the whole day because I was like, "Where's oh, my no? appetite?" Yeah. And then, so, so like, I couldn't sleep that night, and like, I was literally shaking. And, it, oh, it was – so, you know, I can imagine your body's reaction to something as toxic as animal foods after a year off it, two years, five years, ten oh. years. I mean, you literally are allergic to yeah. this type of food now. So that's where you should draw the line is, you know, these things that are toxic for you. But, you know, is, is cooked broccoli toxic? Is, you know, yeah. diet cheese toxic? Is, you know, so – some might say it is. Send Dr. Greg at the study. They talk, they talk about it, but he might have missed it. Yeah. So. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's the thing. And like. Best, you know, good, better, best with yeah. diet. Yeah. Like the diet cheese pizza, that's good. The cheeseless pizza is better. Like no pizza, I guess, is best, you know, whatever. Yeah, I think Dr. McDougal just came out with a free PDF of you 
or anyone goes on their website, what is it called? Dr. McDougal's coloring book. And it has like a traffic light and it's like green. Oh, that's the food you should be eating. Yellow, oh, be cautious and red. Don't eat at all. I mean, that's a, that's a good, you know, system to have. That works for adults too. That's awesome. Yeah, ex exactly. So, um, <laughs> Yeah, and, like, the thing is, like, if you're out traveling, right, or, or say you go to a meeting and there's day of pizza there, but it's vegan, you can eat it, like, yeah. why not? You know, it's not like you're eating day of pizza every day and, you know, all that <laughs> stuff. So, I mean, like, why not? What are you going to do? You're going to starve yourself and, you know, be in class and be hungry and all you think about is food rather than the actual lecture? So, of course not. You're going to have a little bit of day of cheese and pizza and you're going to be good to go. Well, to be honest, it, for me, it's full of oranges, bro. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. For me, if I eat the day the day of pizza, I'm gonna eat the whole pizza, which I, I do all the time. If that's the only thing around, ah, I'm still gonna eat that whole. Salt, bro. Yeah, I'm still gonna eat that whole thing. That night, I'm not gonna feel the best because my body's not used to that much fat. But I will feel so much better than if I were to, you know, not eat. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the worst, yeah. Yeah, just and like just having that on your mind, like shit, you know. I mean, I've woken up a few times since being on this lifestyle, and I like and not having enough or, or something traveling, and I wake up in the middle of the night because I can't, you know, I don't have that much um, what is serotonin or melatonin created from eating, you know, the proper amount of foods. So I wake up and I, you know, if there's a packet of sugar around, I'll be like, oh, well, you know, this might me feel better. Or if there's, I, I wake up and you know sniff around for fruit or you know, so that's right. like the, that's the main thing is you know making sure you're, you know, satiated, not hungry, so you don't eat the animal foods, so you're you can do the stuff that you want to do. Yeah, and uh, that's a good point. It's like when I was first getting into this diet, trying to be you know perfect or whatever. Uh, so let's say like one of the things I would do is not have dried fruit, dried fruit, right? So I'd be laying in bed. And I'd be hungry, and th there would be some dried fruit around. I'd be like, "No, I, I shouldn't have that. Uh, dried fruit's not good. Uh, you know, fresh fruit is better, and it is better. But like, you know, if having that fresh—I mean, uh, that dried fruit—is what's gonna help you sleep better at night, mm -hmm. why not do it? I don't think any of us are advocating cheating here, or you know, leaving room for like unhealthy foods. But I think what we're trying to say is to not be perfect, to not stress over this. You know, Dr. Lyle has a good. Uh, a, a good video up online. It's called "Losing Your Weight Without Losing Your Mind." I, and that's such a, a good phrase because you want to have something that's going to be sustainable, that's going to give ease to your mind, and that's not going to keep you stressed this whole time. Because uh, you know, as we're advocating a healthy diet, you got to think about other lifestyle factors as well, so having good sleep, you know, have a good uh, exercise program, things like that. So. And sure. Like you said, alienating people, you know, that's going to put a strain on you, too. If you're alienating yourself from all your friends and family, mm. it's going to take an emotional toll. And when there's when you're having emotional issues, that can affect your, your appetite and your digestion yeah. and your sleep and everything as well. So, you know, it was tough because I, you know, having gotten into vegetarianism and veganism at a young age, I was very, like, uh, you know, like very militant about it and everything. And so I used to really, you know, want to talk out all the time to people. But now I'm just like, now I feel it's better to just set an example from my action. Yeah. Obviously I have a show, so I'm being very, you know, very hard <laughs> show. but in in reality around me, it's like, it's not the first thing I'm going to announce to people, you know, like, right. I'm vegan, like, keep that whatever away from me. I just try to be cool and tolerant, but I'm yeah. just eating my peaches or whatever while they're eating whatever they're eating. I mean, that's all you can really do is just lead by example. I mean, uh, you know, from my situation going to school, being in <laughs> dietetics class, you can't really speak up about this stuff. I mean, you're going to have everyone around you saying, oh, dietary guidelines don't say that. You're going up against the academy. And it's like you got to lead by example, you know. I'm the guy cycling 60 miles. Like, I, I don't know if anyone else can keep up with me, but, you know, <laughs> that's all you got to do is just lead by example. You got to – show that hey this diet you know it keeps me trim and healthy and and hopefully people will get the message like that is i, I want what he has so yeah, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. totally lead by Absolutely. example yeah i think we got this topic guys <laughs> yeah perfect that's good
I think, and we both have post smoothie peas. So we must yeah, yeah, take yeah. care right now too. Yeah, we'll do that yeah, too. Yeah. We'll do figure yeah. out what you want. All right, everyone's gonna pee up. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Why not?